everyone and welcome to the April 13th reading and in this pre-zoom I am going to show you how to use ReadWorks. And so ReadWorks is going to be the site that we're going to use for at least the next two weeks. Um, and so I'm going to ask for you to again try your belts. That's with this. I'm going to post nonfiction and fiction passages. You will be able to answer vocabulary, comprehension questions, even short answers. You'll get to do that all on the ReadWorks site. Um, and so I will also provide you with a writing response, and that will be um, provided for you on your lesson plan. So I emailed your parents each a lesson plan. Uh, if you did not get that, of course, you can let me know. But let's look and see how would you get on to ReadWorks. Now we have used this site in our class when I assigned stories to you, but what's gonna be different about this is again, you're gonna be doing all of this online. So first you're going to log into, and so you'll do this after we have this tutorial, www.readworks.org slash student. And you are going to log in a class code, and that class code is going to be D3HMMK. This information is also located on the um, page I gave you in your packet that if you haven't received it, you will be receiving that information. Your class code each time is going to be T3HMMK. You're going to hit continue, and you are going to find your name. I put my name here as Mrs. Younger. And right now the password is one, two, three, four. You're gonna to get to, as you see here, change your password um, when you log into this site. So for right now it is one, two, three, four. I hit continue. And you'll see here, there are a list of assignments and each day on your lesson plan, it will tell you which story to read. So I posted for the next two weeks. Uh, I think the lesson plan I sent you just had the first week. So if you will notice here, uh, for today's lesson assignment, it was bug power, or it is bug power. So click on that uh, title and you'll see here we have passage, vocabulary and questions. So if I chose to first look at the vocabulary words, what's nice about this site is that I can have it read to me. And so following uh, so the definition of noun, if I wanted to have it read to me, I just click on this icon right here. A place which is under the control of a distant country. People from that country often move to and live in the colony. Now, as you guys know, when I've used this website, and if I've had a story read to the whole class, we hear that robotic voice that you just heard. Um, if you click on the passage, you can, again, read the passage to yourself, but if you want to have the passage read to you, it actually does not have the robotic sound. So let me uh, play a couple sentences for you. Bug power. Teamwork. How do some insects work together? What do termites, ants, and honeybees have in common? They are all social insects. All right, so I'm going to stop it right there. But again, what I like about this read is that it does sound more human. It's not that computer read. Um, when you're finished with a passage, again, you can read it to yourself or you can have it read to you. You will then click on questions. And the questions here, um, you can answer at the beginning here. It shows multiple choice questions uh, that you can choose your answer. And then it ends with uh, short answer. So you'll type in your answer. Again, if you would like to have the question read to you, you can click on that icon that follows each question. Uh, for the short answer, again, try your best. Um, give as much time as you need again for this. So uh, try your best. When you're finished, you'll click submit. So each day again on your lesson plan, you will be assigned a different story and it will follow up with a um, writing prompt. Um, I put a due date of May 25th, 2020 for each of these uh, reading passages. So if for uh, some reason you miss a day, you can always come back to it. And again, I set that end due date of May 25th. So uh, let me know again, if you do have any problems with logging into this website, um, for this week, definitely, I'm gonna have you go into the website, change your password, 
Um, if you have any questions, again, please let me know. So I'll ask you when you finish watching this to go into bug power and try that out. And then for today's assigned writing prompt, I'm going to ask you to write about a bug or an insect that you find interesting. Write what you know about your chosen insect and what you would like to know about the insect. Again, as always, please let me know if you need anything or assistance with read works. Um, I'm going to be able to see how you're doing online as well. On April 27th, my plan is, is that we will um, have a unit on poetry and on figurative language. All right, have a good day.